Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll tell you everything you need to know about recycle bins in SharePoint. We'll show you how to access the first stage recycle bin, and the second stage. Then we'll show you how to restore deleted sites in the SharePoint Admin Center. We'll also show you how to delete and restore files using PowerShell. And finally, we'll give some important bonus tips. In SharePoint, each site has its own recycle bin, and each bin has two stages. When you delete a file, it gets moved to the first stage recycle bin, where it's kept for 93 days. When the retention period expires, the file is moved to the second stage recycle bin, where it's kept for an additional 93 days, after which the file will be permanently deleted. First, let's empty a recycle bin from within a SharePoint site. To do that, open your site, then head to the left menu, where you can usually find a link to the recycle bin. If not, go to Site Contents. Or if you can't see Site Contents either, head up to the top right and click the Settings icon. Then select Site Contents from the drop-down. Now hit the Recycle Bin button in the top right, where the number of items inside is shown in brackets. This is the first stage recycle bin. To move all items from here into the second stage bin, click Empty Recycle Bin. To restore or delete individual items, select them. Then head up and hit the Restore or Delete button. When we delete the item, it moves into the second stage recycle bin. To find it, head down to the bottom of the window, and click the small link to the second stage recycle bin. Here, we can follow the same steps to empty the whole bin, and restore or remove individual items by selecting them. The difference, is that when you delete items in the second stage recycle bin, they are deleted permanently. If you're an admin, there's a different recycle bin for deleted sites that you can access via the SharePoint Admin Center. To get there from Microsoft.com, or Office.com, select Admin in the left menu, or head up and click the App Launcher in the top left. Then select Admin from the list of apps. In the Admin Center, click the menu icon in the top left. Then head down and click Show All. Now select SharePoint from the list of Admin Centers. Once you're in the SharePoint Admin Center, select Deleted Sites in the left menu. Next, head across and select any of the sites that you want to restore, and select Restore at the top. If you're using Windows, you can delete and restore files and sites using PowerShell. To get started, click the Windows search bar and type PowerShell. Then go up and run the app as an administrator. When PowerShell opens, type install, dash module, space, dash name, space, open quotation marks, pnp.powershell, close quotation marks, then leave a space and type dash required version. Space 1.12.0 Space dash force Space dash allow clobber Now hit enter, and the module should install on your device. Once you've installed the module, you need to import it. So type import dash module Space pnp.powershell Then hit enter. Now we've imported the module, we need to connect to SharePoint, so head over to your site. Then go to the address bar at the top and copy the URL. Once you've copied the URL, head back to PowerShell. In PowerShell, type connect dash PNP online space dash URL space then paste the URL. At the end, leave a space and type dash interactive. Then hit enter. You should see a pop-up asking you to sign into your Microsoft 365 account. Select an account. Then scroll down and click the checkbox next to consent on behalf of my organization. Then click accept. Now we can clear all items in the recycle bin by typing clear. Dash PNP recycle bin item. space, dash all, space, 
dash force. Now hit enter, and you'll have cleared the contents of the recycle bin. Now let's delete or restore a SharePoint site in the recycle bin. To do that, type get, dash PNP tenant, recycle bin item. Then hit enter. You'll see a list of deleted sites with the days remaining until they're permanently deleted. To restore a site, click and drag over the site's URL, and press Ctrl and C to copy it. Then type restore. Dash PNP tenant. Recycle bin item. Space, dash URL. Leave a space, then paste the link. Hit enter. Then type Y and hit enter to confirm. To permanently delete a site, type remove. Dash PNP tenant site. Space, dash URL. Leave a space, then paste the link. After, type space, dash, from recycle bin. If the site you want to delete isn't already in the recycle bin, type dash skip recycle bin. Then hit enter. Type Y, then hit enter to confirm. For a bonus tip, try this command to restore all items in the recycle bin. To do that, type get dash PNP recycle bin item space dash row limit space 10,000. Leave a space, then add a pipe symbol, which takes the results from the command on the left and sends it to the command on the right. Now type restore dash PNP recycle bin item space, dash force, then hit enter, and you'll have successfully restored all deleted items. Here's a final bonus tip to help manage your recycle bin, which is to set up notifications every time an item gets deleted. To do that, open your admin center and click the menu icon in the top left. Head down and click show all. Then head down again and select compliance from the list of admin centers. In the compliance center, Head to Policies in the left menu. Then go across and select Alert Policies. On the next page, click New Alert Policy. Enter a name and description for the policy. Select a severity. Then select a category. When you're done, hit Next. Head up and click the select box under Activity Is. Then type Deleted, and select Deleted File from the drop-down. Hit Next. Now add the names of whoever you want to get notified. When you're done, hit Next. Finally, hit Finish, and you'll be notified whenever a file gets deleted. That's all for this video. If you found it helpful, why not buy us a coffee? We'd really appreciate it, and you'll be helping us grow the channel. Thanks for watching. Remember to check the description for additional resources. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.